roly polies, pill bugs, isopods, slaters, heaps of different common names for heaps of different species. Let's be specific, this is Armadillidium vulgata, the common pill bug. Now this is one of the most commonly kept species. Today I'll show you how to care for them, how to create an enclosure for them. This is Rivera Edge, let's get to it. To start things off, you'll need an enclosure. Now a storage tub will work just fine. Anything will really do. Make sure it's just deep enough and wide enough. This is a 15 liter storage tub and you're gonna to wanna to drill some holes for ventilation. Lots of ventilation for this species. They love the ventilation. Key factor, let's wash it. So for the substrate, you're going to need an organic substrate. Now you can use cocoa peat, I'm using just organic potting mix, lots of different things to break down, or you can also just use poppy wood or peat moss, whatever you like. Now this species loves a moisture gradient, so you're going to want to keep one side of the enclosure moist and one side of the enclosure fairly dry-ish. They love the high airflow, high ventilation, that's what's going to give this the most prolific amount of breeding. Now we're just going to dump our soil in there. I like to dump about four inches of soil. This species likes to burrow, so, you know, accommodate for that and a little deeper substrate will be beneficial. As you can see, it is about four inches. I know, because my finger is like, <laughs> it's like four inches. And you're going to want to chuck some organic matter in there, so some rotting wood for them to hide underneath, some palm bark, and some palm fibers. They love to break this stuff down. You can use pretty much anything organic. Oh, and yeah, I kind of knocked out my camera. We're just going to mix this through the substrate. Now, since they burrow, they, this will create some air pockets in the substrate. We're going to chuck some leaves in there as well, more palm bark more of this random organic matter, palm fibers, oh, more rotting leaves, and we're gonna give it a good old mix. Like I said, this will create air pockets, creates the, creates more of a livable space on the ground. So while they're borrowing, they can also have a living space there, lots of shelter, lots of hiding spots, lots of food. I'm gonna chuck some of this pulpy wood in there as well, and this weird, I don't know what this is, it's like wood, but spongy. So like, check that out. That is what you want. You want it to be well mixed. The substrate is super rich, super full, and just chuck some more hides at the top. You just saw there was a magic potion there, and here's one normal morph, so a little bit spotted. Here's some more, more grays. And that's about it. You're gonna wanna feed these guys. Oh, and these are Porcelio scavers. These are the ones that made me have to rehouse these guys just because they got in there and I couldn't control it. So I had to handpick these pods one by one. It was a mission, but I did it. I had an egg crate in there as well. They seem to like egg crate, but yeah, there we go. Feed them fish flakes, lots of protein sources, cuttlefish boner eggshells, you know, lots of organic matter. Keep the organic matter in the high rotten leaves, rotten wood. They love to break that stuff down as well as fresh veggies if you want them to thrive. As you can see, they're already exploring. They love it. Keep a strong moisture gradient. One side fairly dry and one side fairly moist. And they can, they're going to love it. Lots of airflow, lots of rotting matter, food, veggies, fish flakes. They're, they're good to go. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll have more isopods coming. More isopod videos in the works. Alright, so this is Rivera Edge. I'll see you guys later. The yeah, iceberg said bye as well.